All right, y'all. We are live for keto class. Sunday's keto class. We are live. We are live. We are live. So, man, I just am so excited about keto class today because I am simulcasting every single where. <laughs> every single where. I am on TikTok. I'm on YouTube. I am on uh, Facebook. And I am on Clubhouse. So I have Clubhouse going. So my folks on Clubhouse, they know that basically I will interact with that with that group a little bit later, but stick in here and learn uh, what I usually teach here in keto class, and you'll get an idea of, of, of what I usually talk about here. So I see on the Facebook side, same thing with my, my folks on um, TikTok. Y'all know that I will interact with you guys after class. We will have our Q&A. So y'all stick in for the, uh, for the Q&A section after I actually do the, the class itself. So for those who don't know, I'm Keto Coach E. I've been doing this ketogenic lifestyle for over four and a half years. I've been teaching it online for about four years. And I've been uh, on Facebook doing this keto class every single Sunday uh, for about the last four years, to be honest. So if you go, if you're in my Facebook group, you literally can scroll down and you can see classes from <laughs> from 2017 in there. Right. So you'll see classes from way back um, in, from in there because I have not deleted anything out of there. So um, Mary says, looking forward to the subject. That's awesome. So, hey, hey, Kevin. So I don't know who you are. You got to You got to allow allow it to. Um, to to um to bring you to you gotta allow Streamyard to recognize you. So Chuck, we are in uh, keto class right now. No one's on stage at this moment because I'm actually uh, presenting live. But once the presentation is over, Chuck, I will definitely uh, allow for questions and and bring people up on stage. Um, so say so had to switch over. So good evening, uh, keto family from Misty. So, yes, y'all, let's get it going, y'all. So we're going to talk about intermittent fasting. So one of the things about intermittent fasting um, that that the first thing I want to say, I want to make sure that people understand that with intermittent fasting, y'all, don't start too soon. So I'm giving y'all this disclaimer before I even get started, because sometimes I think people start intermittent fasting too quickly. They jump into intermittent fasting right away because keto and intermittent fasting have kind of become like a joint thing. It's kind of like become like this thing where. It's like, if I'm doing keto, I must do intermittent fasting. Now, is intermittent fasting great? Yes, it is. But if you are just starting the ketogenic lifestyle, I always tell you, just hold off a little bit. Hold off a little bit on the intermittent fasting piece until you actually uh, get a hold of the ketogenic lifestyle first. Get a hold of the ketogenic lifestyle, and then we can start talking about fasting, and it will happen naturally. So that the fasting piece will also happen naturally. Uh, once you start to get into the ketogenic lifestyle, <laughs> somebody see that this intro is busted. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So it came to YouTube. So Candace is on the YouTube side. Y'all make sure y'all hit the hit the hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube side. If you're on the YouTube side, y'all make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Uh, make sure that you also um, click the bell icon as well so that you know every time I go live. So um, Melanie is excited about the fasting. So I, I gave y'all my disclaimer on fasting, y'all. So just 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 know that I'm talking about it, but hold it in your back pocket for a little while if you're if you're brand new to keto. And I say this because those who don't know, Keto Coach E came from me being a basketball coach. So I'm a basketball coach, so I use a lot of basketball analogies. And one of the main analogies that I like to use is don't change the play in the game. See, I'm getting ready to give y'all some tricks tonight, but I don't want you to change the play in the game if you're winning. So if you're already winning the game, there's no need for me to change the play. And that's one of the things that I talk about in the ketogenic lifestyle. You have people losing weight every single week, every single week, every single week. And then maybe they had this goal that they had that they wanted to hit by this certain day. And then all of a sudden they start, they switch something up because they feel like they want to, they want to uh, increase the results. And it usually throws them off track. So if you're in, if you're in mode and you're in, and you're in rhythm, stay in rhythm in a basketball game. If I'm running a play to the right the whole game and the other team has not stopped it, I am not going to change the play for the sake of changing the play. That's called overcoaching, right? So it's the same type of thing with the ketogenic lifestyle. Don't change the play if you're in if you're in rhythm. Save it. Save the play for a little bit later. Um, like I always tell people as well is, is I'm not going to run my best play in the first quarter. I'm not going to run my best play in the first quarter. I'm going to run it to the right, run it to the right, run it to the right. And in the fourth quarter, when I need it, now I'm going to run the other play. I'm going to run the other option. So save your, save it to the fourth quarter, y'all. If you feel like you need to bust a stall or, 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 
uh, you're ready to get into intermittent fasting, these these are going to be some strategies that are going to definitely help you along the way. So here again on my TikTok and my in my um, clubhouse side, I'll be we'll have a and a when this is over, when the formal class is over. So y'all just y'all stick tight there. So Misha is here. Misha is everywhere. Misha is on TikTok. She's on Facebook. She's everywhere. <laughs> so I appreciate you, Misha. So um, let's talk about the, the basic intermittent fasting. So the basic intermittent fasting that most people uh, are aware of is basically is, is a calorie fast. So when we talk about intermittent fasting, and I'm going to I'm breaking it down for you in that sense, because there are different types of fasting. So a calorie fast means that you wouldn't eat more than 50 calories before you you wouldn't take in more than 50 calories for a certain amount of time, whatever that time might be. So most people are doing like a 16, eight. That means you're doing 16 hours of non eating, no eating. And yes, your sleeping time counts as, as a non eating period. So your sleeping time counts as a non eating period. And, and they, they have, a, they're eating only during this eight hour window. Some people do what you call a 24. That means that they're not eating for 20 hours. And then they are only eating during this four hour window. So those are some different types. And of course, you can, you know, there are different ones. You can do a 12 hour, whatever. And then I have one that I call the four hour fast. And the four hour fast is what I teach to my beginners because I say a four hour fast is nothing more than you just don't eat anything for four hours after your feet touch the floor. And usually that would get most people to a 12 hour or more type of fast, intermittent fast. So that's the first type of fast where we're not going to take in 50 or more calories. So what are some of the things that would break that type of fast? Heavy whipping cream. So <laughs> butter, coconut oil, those things would break the fast because fat is going to break your fast because fat is higher in calories. So you don't want to get more than 50 calories of, of food, drink or whatever it might be, because that's going to break your fast. Because the whole point of that type of intermittent fast is not to activate your insulin. And if you're not activating your insulin, that means that that ketones can be produced. That means that growth hormones can be produced because they're they're opposite. They work opposite of insulin. If insulin is doing is working, then ketones aren't being produced at that time, and your growth hormones are not being produced at that time either. So you want to make sure that you are that that you are not getting more than fifty calories. And one of the biggest mistakes I see is heavy whipping cream. People adding heavy whipping cream to coffee. So you can drink co regular coffee. Um, without adding heavy whipping cream and those type of things, if you're going to do that, I'm calling it a calorie fast. Yo. I'm calling it a calorie fast because I want you to understand the difference is that you're not going to eat more than 50 calories for whatever that window of time might be, whether it's 12, whether it's 16, whether it's 20, whatever those hours are that you're not going to eat. And then that four hour fast, that's a great way for a beginner to start in implementing intermittent fasting without having to think about 12 hours of not eating. You just say, hey, I'm not going to eat for the first four hours after I get up. That's going to give you your body a chance to, to start to recover a little bit. And over time, you'll get better at it. You'll be able to fast for a little bit longer period of time. So the next type of fast that I'll talk about is a food fast. Oh, OK. So let me answer this question. So um, so Artel Artelia says, uh, what if the creamer has MCT oil? Uh, is it breaking the fast? Most likely, if it has MCT oil, it's going to break the fast because fat carries a lot of calories. So if it has, if you're putting MCT oil in or butter in or coconut oil in, it's going to break that type of 50 calorie fast. So it's going to break the fast. So Ada, I see you. You are uh, wanting to come up on stage right now. I'm doing my keto class. Um, so at the moment, I won't let anybody up until... Um, until after I finish teaching the, the class and then we'll do the Q&A and everything in a little bit. So it'll probably be in about 15, 20 minutes, Ada. So uh, what if, so if you also can find me on YouTube, y'all, for those of y'all who, who um, I'm, I'm on YouTube, Streamline with YouTube and Facebook right now, as well as TikTok. So, um, so yes. So I tell you, you definitely, those, those 50 calories, that's going to break your fast. So what we, what we teach inside of my mastermind, which I have a mastermind group, which we teach, we meet twice a week. Um, and I basically go over all these things and answer questions as well inside the mastermind group. It's basically a coaching group. So we, we, we use super creamer. So super creamer, and it's the French vanilla version of the super creamer. So the French vanilla version of the super creamer only has about 15 calories per, um, for like three tablespoons or teaspoons, one or the other. But you're really hard for you to get over 50. So, I mean, you literally could pour it in and you wouldn't be over 50. 
So um, you wouldn't even have to necessarily measure it. So you use a super creamer in order to get some, uh, you know, if you want some sweetness or you want to lighten the coffee a little bit, that's a great way to be able to drink your coffee and stay fasted, calorie fasted. And that's one of the things, that's one of the things that I do. Uh, all that's what that's I do that all the time. So I drink I drink coffee and I use my my um, French vanilla super creamer. So that's one of the things I do. So how do I join the mastermind group? So if you're on the Facebook, do you on the YouTube side? Uh, just you, just inbox me. You have to inbox me to join the mastermind group. So the mastermind group, we have a special private group that we have a chat, a private chat group. And then we meet twice a week. So you just inbox me, message me directly. And I'll be able to get get that information to you. So I'll stream my phone number below so you can text me as well. So I'll stream my phone number below on the banner below for those who are interested in that. So send me a text uh, to that number and then we will um, we can talk about getting you into the uh, the mastermind, the mastermind group. So let's talk about the next type of fast. So we see we got Patricia in here. So, so under 50 calories when fasting or at 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 the end of fast. So that's wild fasting. So during that window, Patricia, that is when you're going to stay under 50 calories. And don't try to don't try to eat 50 calories. You know what I mean? Don't try to get little small pieces or something to get the 50 calories. So I, the whole thing is, is that anything over 50 would break your fast. So I wouldn't say you really you really should not be eating or drinking anything during that period of time. When I say anything drinking wise, yes, water. If you're going to do coffee, then coffee with the super creamer. That's fine. And uh, certain teas are going to be fine as well. So those are the those are the things that you want to drink during your fast. Um, so you really shouldn't be eating anything during that that fast because the key again is not to activate your insulin because the insulin is is going to be counter the growth hormone uh, as well as 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 your ketones. So if you want to be producing ketones. You don't want insulin to be present. So let's go to the next type of fast. And I hope and, and y'all ask questions because I don't want y'all to be confused. The next type of fast is what I call a food fast. So the food fast would be. I'm not going to eat food, but I'll drink liquids. So maybe you will add the heavy whipping cream or, or maybe you will add the butter. Maybe you will do that. Or maybe you will, like I talk about the fat shake, maybe you will drink the fat shake during that during that window, but you won't eat solid food. So that's another way for you to ease into actually a 50 calorie or zero calorie fast. So the second type of fast, I would call it a food fast. So the first one was a calorie fast, where it's like, you're basically not getting more than 50 calories. The second one I call a food fast, a food fast where you're not eating any food during that period of time, but you can drink liquids and you can do the bulletproof coffees. You can do your shakes. You can do all of those things uh, in between that, that period of your non-eating time. And I call that a food fast. So that's a different type of fast that you can do to help you get built up to a true true or, or the most powerful type of intermittent fasting, which is going to be your calorie fast where you're going to get less than 50 calories. That's going to be the most powerful type of fast. So um, you said, I just use unsweetened almond milk in my coffee while fasting. So Mary B, that's a great idea. So if you're fasting and you're doing the, the 50 calorie or less type of fast, then adding uh, unsweetened almond milk is great. And that's just the same type of, that's the same concept as adding the super creamer because you're not going to get as many calories. So, um, so Denitra, hey, thanks for popping in here. So now I'm going to go a little bit off, off the, uh, off of the basics of those type of fasts. I'm going to talk about a couple other type of fasts, and these fasts are more of um, stall busting fasts. These fasts are more, are more what I use for stall busters. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the egg fast. And I, I've done videos on the egg fast. The egg fast is, um, and maybe you've heard of these things. So it's great to have these conversations because. Once we can, you you, you kind of can get some clarity and feel free to drop your questions in there. If you're on the TikTok side, put your questions in the Q&A box so that they're there when I finish um, the presentation. And if you're on the um, if you're on the clubhouse side, then you definitely um, in a moment, I will be bringing people up on stage to ask questions uh, on the clubhouse side as well. So. Um, so you said uh, you do the food fast. OK, so that's that's perfectly fine. So if you do a food fast and you and you do drink shakes or you drink um, bulletproof coffee with butter or, or with coconut oil or with MCT oil, I think that's perfectly fine. But just understand the most powerful fast that's going to get you the deepest in the ketosis is going to be 
that that zero that 50 the zero to 50 calories uh within you know a 12 to 16 hour window uh 16 8 is the seems to be the most popular one but there are people who do longer fast and even do fast for days which i'm not really i'm not really into that personally not saying it's a bad thing but um I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all actually it's just that i think the majority of people are doing a 16 or shooting for 16 8 and maybe they'll they'll go as long as like 12 hours so the next one i'm going to speak on is the egg fast so the egg fast is very simple y'all and i know i have a couple questions y'all make sure y'all drop them in here if you got some questions i need to make sure i plug this phone up too so that we don't go out <laughs> so um so the egg fast basically the basis of the egg fast is you're going to eat at least six eggs a day. You can boil them. You can scramble them. You can do whatever you want to do with them. You can put them. I used to make egg cups or egg, egg like egg cupcakes in a sense, where I would take them and put them in a muffin tin, and I would add a little bacon and and, and little little whatever. I would add some veggies in there. I would just add whatever I wanted inside of it, and I would bake it in the oven just like I would do muffins, and I would eat a few of them. I would eat like two to three of them every single day. So just literally put one egg in each muffin tin. You know, stir it up. Put whatever you want in it. Uh, what, what type of meat you want in it, what type of veggies you want in it, and just bake it. That that was always a great breakfast for me, and it was real easy to carry with me. Just put them in sandwich bags. So after I would cook them, I would just put them in like little sandwich bags and separate them out like three each in each sandwich bag, and that would be my breakfast. <laughs> so an uh, egg fast is uh, is is that's one of the most powerful stall busters I've used too inside of my group. And here again, if everything is working for you, don't change the play. Don't get greedy because sometimes people get greedy and they lose in weight and they be like, I want to lose more. And they start trying to switch things up and do things that accelerate and you mess yourselves up even more. So this is only for, you know, if, if you're not in the flow anymore and you feel like, hey, I need to I need to kind of get over the hump. Some people use egg fast and things like that to start the ketogenic lifestyle. I don't like to do that. I don't teach that. I like to more so use them as ways to break stalls later on down the road. Um, so egg fast, you're going to eat a minimum, you're going to eat a, a, a minimum of six a day. You're going to eat a minimum of six eggs a day. That's a minimum. Cause I always get this question over and over. It's a minimum. So if you eat eight, that's fine. If you eat 10, that's fine. You're going to eat a minimum of six eggs a day. And the main, the, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to give y'all the magic. So I'm, you know how the magician never tells the trick. I'm getting ready to tell y'all the trick behind the egg fast. The trick behind the egg fast is for those three days, and I and I tell everyone to do the, the fast that I'm going to talk to you all about, I say three days. Some people will push it to five. Some people will push it to seven. Um, I'll tell you which one I think you can do for seven. I think the egg fast is definitely a three-day fast. Some people may push it, but for me and my teaching, I teach it for three days um, because the, the average person that's just getting started with the lifestyle may be really hard for them to go longer than three days doing that. Now, the, the thing is, is that you're going to get a lot of fat, you're going to get your protein, and you're going to have a very, very uh, minimal amount of carbs. So people usually ask, well, can I drink coffee? Yes, you can drink coffee during that period of time. Um, I would, I, You could drink coffee, and if you want to add fat to it, you can do that as well. So, And, and these, are, these are rules that you can kind of, I don't want to say create for yourself, but the main thing is to stay away from the artificial sweetness, because I think that, that the egg fast really really tricks people into staying away from sweetness for that period of time as well. So with the egg fast, if you're going to do, you know, a bulletproof coffee, that's fine. Um, in the morning to help you help you with a fast or whatever, I, I say that's that's good to go. But outside of that, you should just be eating. I mean, if you're going to drink electrolytes, then ah, OK, <laughs> you know, but don't overdo it um, during that period of time. You're going you're gonna to need electrolytes. But when I say don't don't like get to the point where you're substituting the sweetness for just drinking a bunch of the, the the powder type drinks and ketones and things like that, because the the key to the to the egg fast is to keep you away from the sweetness for that period of time, and you're also going to get um, more fat. So let's see. Patricia says, uh, so waking up at 9 a.m. and not eating until 6 p.m. Is it okay to just eat because that happens to be about four or five days a week on its own? um i'm not i'm not totally getting the understanding of that question um so you said waking up at 9 a.m and not eating until six so yeah 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 i mean your window is your window so whatever your window is your sliding window that's fine however you decide to do it but for the most part 
I mean, I don't know, like, are you sleeping during that period of time? Like, are you working at night and then at 9 a.m. you're like sleep? I think that that's, you know, that's that's fine if that's how that, that works for you. And also one thing I had to put in here as well that I did not mention is that you don't have to fast every day. So I think one of the biggest issues is people fast every single day. They feel like they feel like once you start fasting, you got to do it every day for the rest of your life. You don't have to do it every day for the rest of your life. You do not have to fast every day for the rest of your life. You can do it three days a week. You can do it two days a week. You can do it one week and don't do it the next week. So don't feel like you have to fast indefinitely if you start doing just the, the typical intermittent fasting. So um, that was a little bit on the egg fast. So the egg fast, more than you're going to eat at least six eggs a day. You can do them however you want them, <laughs> you know, like Forrest Gump. You can scramble them. You can boil them. You can saute them. You can do whatever you want with these eggs. Um, but you're just going to eat eggs totally for three days. So another one that I talk about uh, inside our mastermind is called a fat fast. Now, granted, y'all, and, and I'm going to let y'all know, these are not fasts that we do. I think we've done this one time in the last eight months. <laughs> so these are not things that I, imp I implement a lot. But I feel like some people, you just need to be taught. You need to learn because you're going to hear these things. And you're going to be like, well, what is that? Maybe I should try that. The fat fast, I think, is, is, is a good one. And I think you can stretch the fat fast a little bit longer because you got more options of food. So I'll go over some of the food you can eat during the fat fast. But basically, the uh, my fat fast is you're going to go 85 to 90% of your calories going to come from fat. Um, you're going to do it for three days. Now, some people will teach to eat. Eat more, I eat more during that period of time, but no, because you're eating fat, you're still just going to keep your, your meals the same. So let's see, I got a question about the egg fast. It said, do you only eat eggs during that time? So, so when you do the egg fast, I, I if you're intermittent fasting, yes, you're only going to eat it in that window, but you don't have to intermittent fast and egg fast at the same time, Mary B. So you don't have to do them both together. If you're already intermittent fasting and you're just going to implement the eggs into your normal food schedule. That's fine. Or maybe that particular week you won't. Wow, we got a thunderstorm. I didn't even realize that. So that maybe that particular week you won't intermittent fast um, the same week that you egg fast. So that's up to you. So those are some options that you will have uh, with the egg fast. And um, it's work. I'm telling you, it works to bust to bust that stall. You know? <laughs> it works. But if you're if you're already deep in the keto, which most of the people that I work with before I introduce this are already deep in the keto. You're only eating about two meals a day and you have some type of intermittent fasting anyway. So you just replace those two meals with eggs only. So let's talk about the fat fast. So um, just a real quick um, just reset in the in the uh, room over there on the clubhouse side is that I'm doing keto class. I see it's pretty much the same folks. And um, I will open up the Q&A once I finish the class. I'm, I'm actually doing this on a bunch of different platforms at the moment and just thought I'd jump in. To the club and see who uh who pops in so let's see uh patricia says no sleep during the night and no matter when i wake up it's uh tons of hours after i wake up before i feel like eating anything and um yeah so uh, yeah that's that's fine patricia if that's if that works for you that's fine it it, it the, the intermittent fasting window is not um it's not defined by time necessarily when I say not defined by a certain time of day. So you don't have to do it overnight. So like some people work at night, you know, so some people might be eating at 2 a.m. where other people might be sleeping at 2 a.m. So just as long as your window, that 16 hour window, or that 12 hour window, whatever that window is, is a non eating window. So you're just going to go that particular hours of the day without eating. So that would make you an intermittent fast. So so we're talking about the fat fast. Um, you're going to you're basically going to get the same amount of calories that you normally get in. So, Sherry. Um, so I see Sherry popped in. So, hey, Sherry. Um, so basically, y'all, on, on the fat fast, I'm just going to give you some things that you can eat. So, again, eggs would be perfect. So eggs would be perfect on that fat fast. The fat fast, you got more options. So with the egg fast, you only can eat eggs. So, it's, you know, with the fat fast, we got um, heavy whipping cream. You got macadamia nuts. So all of the nuts in the seeds. So macadamia, pecans, Brazil nuts. You have all of those. Um, fat bombs, if you make fat bombs, and I was just having this conversation uh, before, is that when I first started keto, fat bombs was a big deal. Like people were talking about fat bombs all the time, but now it's like so many store-bought keto products, people don't talk about fat bombs anymore. And I think fat bombs are good because they're homemade, so you know what's in it. <laughs> so yeah, you can buy products out of the store that have fat in it, but then they got 15 other ingredients in there, whereas if you make it at home, you know exactly what's in it. 
uh, bulletproof coffee, bulletproof tea. So if you don't know what that is, that's when we add the butter or the coconut oil or those things. So um, we're talking about the fat fast now. So these are the things that you would have if you're doing the fat fast for three to five days. Um, egg salad. Then these are egg salad and tuna salad, I think, are some of the best things to have doing that fat fast because mayo, you got mayo in there. And um, let's talk about mayonnaise for a moment is, um, you know, you got to be careful with brand of mayonnaise you get because. Not that it's going to be blood sugar spiking, but they do have a lot of mayo out there that has um, has inflammatory oils or vegetable oils in it. So, you know, we, we typically want to stay away from vegetable oils. And granted, it's not a lot. It's not a whole lot of it. So, I mean, I'm not like totally against certain brands, but you don't want to get a brand that has like three or four different types of vegetable oils in there. Um, so I think Dukes is probably the best outside of I'll say the best of the worst. <laughs> it's the best of the worst. The Dukes is probably the best of the worst. Um, and and then the the best ones are going to be like your Primal Kitchen. So Primal Kitchen, they make their mayonnaise with with um, avocado oils. So that's going to be your your pristine mayo. So you can take that mayonnaise and you're going to make your egg salads, your tuna salads, whatever type of your chicken salad. So you can make all of those type of things. Now, that sounds good to me because I know I could eat eggs for breakfast. I could eat tuna or chicken salad for, quote unquote, dinner and be fine. And I'm only eating two meals a day on the max. You know, most people who are, are keto have been keto for a while. Cream spinach. So you look up uh, recipes to make cream spinach. You're not going to use the, the, the store bought type of cream spinach because they're going to use starch in order to cream it. Um, mashed, mashed avocados, which <laughs> is nothing more then uh guacamole right so guacamole deviled eggs so you can get your deviled eggs you can make those in different ways as well so that you can use the deviled eggs on the egg fast as uh as well so those are those are also good options you got sour cream salmon so you got your fishes your salmon and i didn't mean to say it, like you have your fish <laughs> all right salmon uh sardines nut butters also so those uh nut butters will will give you that fat so avocado salad, avocado and salmon salads. You can even make those salads and use fish. So you imagine you make uh, the tuna also has a lot of um, fat in it as well. So um, the buttered spinach um, and peppers and cream cheese, which seems to be like a TikTok staple. Right. So the cream cheese is going to give you a lot of fat. So those are some things that you can add. So that would be your fat fast. And you basically would just eat these fatty type foods. And these are healthy fats. You didn't see y'all didn't see bacon on here one time, did y'all? So don't get to telling me, oh, y'all bacon and butter. Nope, you ain't see bacon on here one time. You ain't even see butter on here. <laughs> so just be mindful that we're talking about more of the healthier types of um, fats. So I'm I'm always teaching the healthier types of fats. Um, so that's that's going to help you. And and again, for those who might be coming in in the middle, y'all, this is just for this is just for those who. Um, who need it? You're going to save your best play for the fourth quarter. So you're not just going to start running this play because you want to overcoach. <laughs> All right. You're going to run this play when you need it. So if you're in the flow and you're losing weight and, 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 and things are going great for you, let it go. And let me let me say this. You're not in a stall unless you haven't lost any weight or any inches in four to six weeks. So don't say I lost 10 pounds and in the last two weeks I'm at a stall. You're not at a stall. You're not at a stall. You're only at a stall if you have no movement, no weight, no inches, four to six weeks. So most people have, have not truly experienced a stall. Now, I've had some people who are like, man, I haven't lost weight in three to six months. And those are usually people who will come to my coaching program because for whatever reason, they just have not been able to, to find the metric. And usually the metric is fat. So we just had this conversation the other day because someone drank the fat shake um and tested their their ketone levels in in the class and they noticed their ketone levels increased and their blood sugar decreased and i was like see the fat is the thing that's going going to bring up your ketones and the biggest mistake most people make is they just not get enough fat so Patricia said okay was worried because sometimes i have to realize that i'm not eating all uh most of the day uh then i eat uh something little that's that's fine but the something little so you when you eat you should be eating so just make sure that, that that you keep that in mind. When you eat, you should be eating, um, and not and not eating like a bird. <laughs> All right, you should be you should be eating eating. So um, yeah, and calories is another huge mistake. Is that people are so used to the traditional dietary lifestyle where they're not eating 
uh, where, you're, where you're calorie counting and you're trying to decrease the amount of calories that you eat, that they under eat on keto and then it ends up being a problem. So, so yeah. So, um, so you said, uh, I said, um, I said, I'm definitely in a stall. So Mary, we got to talk. If you're definitely in a stall, we got to talk. So, <laughs> um, so soybean oil is a thumbs down. I, I, I won't say that. Soybean oil is, 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 I, I kind of put soybean oil in a, in a category is like pork because, uh, there, there are many people in the Asian community who don't have a problem with soy, you know? And I think that, that, you know, in, in, the traditional American diet, we have a problem with soy because we consider it to be. Um, we've been taught that it 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 helps it, it helps to it, it doesn't help with people with, with cancer because I know that's like the first time I heard of it is when my mother in law had cancer and they were like, "Don't no soy products." So you know, it, it, it that that definitely to me is a more of a preference, and you got to do your research on that. But I mean, soybean oil for the most part. Uh, is considered an inflammatory oil, especially in the U.S. So um, I would say more so stick to the avocado oils. The um, and definitely wouldn't buy no no canister of it. But if it's in a product, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be a, a, a it wouldn't it wouldn't be a, a non negotiable if it was in a in a product that I use periodically. I wouldn't buy a product that I used every day that had it in there. Um, but if it's a product that I'm going to use periodically, then I wouldn't I wouldn't be. It's not a non negotiable. So I said, is there any way I could have a list of things on the fat fast uh, that I can use uh, for a later time? I, I I need to do that. I need to create the list. So I'll tell you, I'll, I'll see if I can't sit down for five minutes and type it up <laughs> for everybody. Because I got that question yesterday in the mastermind. Um, so he said, uh, said, yes, eggs and bacon and salad uh, with meats and cheese. So here again uh, to Patricia is is with the with the eggs yes for sure the bacon you want to moderate the salad you always want to add fat and the cheese you want to be mindful of your own gut biome so like if you notice that you that you um are bloated and having trouble then cheese might be the first thing you want to look at and no i'm not anti-cheese i just say that that's definitely one you got to make sure that you know your your own gut and your own gut biome when it comes to uh cheese so um so that's the fat fast. So let's see. I know we got a few people over on that side. So the last one is the beef and butter fast. And that's really simple. Um, you know, coffee, coffee uh, with no sweeteners. So the beef and butter fast is a three day type of type of situation. Um, so those of y'all on TikTok, bear with me. If you got any questions, put them in the Q&A box so that I can see them when I finish presenting. Um, and then I open up the floor as well on the clubhouse side. First time I'm trying this clubhouse thing. So we'll see how that works. Um, while I'm while I'm doing this presentation, because the TikTok folk could hear Clubhouse uh, when they ask the question, so that'd be good. Um, so uh, let's move on. Beef and butter fast. So yeah, you can have coffee. So just like I talked about on the egg fast, you can have coffee. Um, you, you have your bulletproof um, coffee or tea there as well. But on the beef side, you're gonna look to six to twelve ounces of beef per meal. So. You're still going to eat about two meals a day. If you're going to do an OMAD, you can do that. But most people, are going to, once you're keto, you're eating about two meals a day. So uh, one third to uh, one, one half to one third of butter per meal. So you're just going to add butter to the beef. Um, and if you want to use um, hamburger meat or whatever, you can do that as well. Ground beef, I should say. Um, and you can use coconut oils. So you, or you can use coconut oils. You can use butters. Uh, in the beef and butter fast, and that's all you're gonna eat, y'all. <laughs> so I know people always ask, like, well, can I add this? Can I take that? Can I add that? So you're only gonna eat the beef and the butter during that period of time. So I mean, oh, for sure, if you're gonna do veggies and things like that, then okay. Uh, but that's your preference. But the beef and butter fast is usually just that's what you're gonna do for those few days, and it's it's a short it's a short period of time, two to three days, and you'll start to notice these these usually will break a stall. And and usually what I talk about when it comes to breaking a stall is it introduces you to the new weight class. So if you're just trying to get to this particular weight that, you know, maybe you haven't been able to hit once you hit it, you may after you finish these gain, maybe you lose three and you gain two back. But your body already knows what that weight feels like. And eventually you'll hit that again and then you'll start to move forward. So these definitely are stall busters. But here, once again, y'all, as always, I got to just make sure that y'all know that. Don't try to change the play too early. Don't try to change that. Don't try to change the play just because you you're being impatient. Because sometimes I notice people are impatient. 
It's like, I got to get this weight off. I got to, you know, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. And, and you can't just throw the whole kitchen sink at it. You want to be able to have things to use periodically throughout throughout the time. So my thought is, is that if you just learned about three different types of stall busters, you learned about the egg fast, you learned about the fat fast, you learned about the beef and butter fast. And let's just say you learned about four. You learned about the intermittent fast. You should only use that one of those. I mean, intermittent fasting, of course, is 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 more natural with keto. Like for me, I can't even eat before 12 a.m. most days unless I'm up super early. Uh, but it, like most days I can't eat before 12. Like on the weekends when I'm not up at six o'clock in the morning to be at work, I can't eat. At, I can't eat before 12 um, because I'm just not hungry. I mean, I, I'm really not hungry at all. And that's just over time, just being keto. You're, you're not going to want to eat as much. So, but y'all don't try to change the play too early. That's the main thing. And and I would say that if they're, if they're four quarters in the year, right? If they're four quarters in the year, you shouldn't be doing the beef and butter and the egg fast and the, um, and, and, and the fat fast all in the same quarter. They should be three, they four quarters. They should be all spread out. Um, so, you definitely should be <laughs> should be spreading these out and then not overdoing them. So, so you said my gut loves these kinds of salads uh, so much, uh, craves them. So that's awesome. So I tell you, say, uh, Coach. Oh, oh, okay, got you. <laughs> so that's T to T on uh, TikTok. So awesome. Glad you're in there. Glad you're in there. You on the Facebook side? So glad you you got into that Facebook group. He said, so Wild Craft Mayo says olive oil. Uh, on front but has junk all in yeah and a lot of them do that they have they'll have some even you even got to be careful because some of them will put avocado oil on the front and then when you look in the back it has a whole bunch of other stuff so yes so that's why i say dukes is probably going to be your better store-bought brand of mayo and then um then then if you're going for the pristine mayo you can look for primal kitchen primal kitchen we have a promo code for primal kitchen in the um in the bio so if you go to my bio, you can definitely get the promo code for Primal Kitchen um, and, and, and get those mayos. Primal Kitchen has the, the best ketchup um, that I found. They have the best ketchup. Primal Kitchen has that as well. And then they have a bunch of um, dressings, their Caesar dressing. They have a bunch of dressings that are, that are, that are really good. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Primal Kitchen when it comes to condiments. <laughs> All right. So I'm a big fan of them. Uh, so Tammy says, uh, came late. Uh, but I'm here. So welcome, Tammy. Welcome, welcome. So Patricia said, uh, I'm mom to mom budget. OK, so so it's always great to see uh, see uh, people just come from the different platforms. The Facebook group is the hub, y'all. So if you get in a Facebook group, you can post pictures of your food. You can ask questions while you're in the market. You can do all those type of things. So the Facebook group is where you can actually do it all. You know, we can actually post pictures. You can ask questions. I do video so you can get everything in the Facebook group. That's the that's that's I call that the hub. And then everything else kind of spreads out from there to TikTok because you can see me and hear me on TikTok, but I can't see and hear you. You know what I mean? On Facebook, I get to see you, even though I can't necessarily hear you on on uh, Clubhouse. I can hear you, but I can't necessarily see you. Right. So uh, all of these different platforms have their different um, different pluses and minuses. YouTube. Y'all make sure that y'all follow me. Well, y'all subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm, I'm working on doing better with my YouTube videos as well. So make sure y'all go to the link in the bio. Everything is in the bio. I have a uh, best-selling book on Etsy. It is a, the meal plan. My meal plan is on Etsy. It is the best-selling meal plan on Etsy. Why? Because you get two months worth of meal plan. You get 63 recipes. And you're going to also get uh, two months worth of shopping list for $5. Whereas all of the other meal plans on Etsy are ten dollars for thirty days worth of stuff, so that's why I had to figure out myself like, wow, what made this the bestseller? And that's when I really evaluated it and started looking at the other meal plans. I realized that was one of the things that made it the best. And then my book is called the Keto Playbook. I always try to point to it. I can't never find it. But <laughs> the, the Keto Playbook is up there as well, y'all. The Keto Playbook is on Etsy, um, so you can definitely check check that out as well. That really walks you through the ketogenic lifestyle. My number streaming across the bottom for my YouTube and my and my Facebook folks. So use that number, text me. Um, and if you got any questions, then we definitely can connect on that end. Um, so Artelia says, uh, you said you you don't you don't be hungry in the morning, <laughs> but I have the coffee with MT, MCT oil, and I won't eat or feel hungry until five to seven. Oh, 
I'm really not hungry after that. So uh, I tell you, that's a that's a great point. And I'll touch on that before I get out of here. One of the mistakes, another mistake that people make is coffee. And I'm not really saying that coffee coffee is a mistake if it's hindering your eating. So like some people are under eating because they're drinking coffee and then they drink coffee. They're not hungry. So then you don't get enough real nutrients for the day. So you got to be mindful that if you're drinking coffee and it's um, altering your appetite, then you got to you you got to kind of. You got to work around it. The work around that I have, have that I teach people is to eat first. So eat first, then drink coffee um, so that you're getting real food in. And um, so that so that you're not under eating because under eating can be detrimental um, for any any lifestyle. I mean, under eating, some people realize that they're not losing weight when they're under eating. Also, people realize they're not getting the nutrients. So you start losing hair. Um, that's when you know that, you know, your muscle, your muscle, you start losing that as well. So. You want to make sure you're getting enough food in because you need that protein. You need those nutrients. You're going to need that. So under eating is the biggest problem on keto because overeating usually doesn't happen because keto um, suppresses your appetite naturally. So you're not as hungry naturally. Um, so let's see. I see a few more questions. I see Sir Kensington. Yes, yeah, Sir Kensington is great. Um, if I'm if I'm looking at dressing, I tend to like the um, I've done a little test on Sir Kensington versus the primal kitchen dressing. Yes, I love I like the um, the primal kitchen better. Sir Kensington is a little bit more vinaigrette, <laughs> I'll say, whereas you can kind of get some of the thicker dressings like the, uh, you know, like the blue cheeses and the Caesars um, for primal kitchen. Um, Sir Kensington is definitely though. Sir Kensington has some great mayo. Sir Kennedy has great mayo as well. And those who know, know my wife don't like mayo. So I <laughs> so I've I've seen that Sir Kensington mayo too. This looks delicious. I mean, they got like sriracha, they got a lot of a lot of stuff. So yes, yeah, Sir Kensington as well. Sir Kensington and Primal Kitchen are gonna be your best sources of mayo. Uh you said mayo is so easy to make and uh tastes good. Yes, you can definitely make it at home. Uh mayo is definitely a good something good to make at home. So Patricia said, I love G. Hughes raspberry uh, vinaigrette. I didn't know G. Hughes had salad dressing. Um, I do know that the G. Hughes barbecue sauce has sucralose. Sucralose is one of the, sucralose is one of those things that's a non-negotiable for me and my coaching. I, I I tell all of my students to stay away from sucralose as much as you can. Um, and I know G. Hughes is one of those that has uh, sucralose in the barbecue sauce. I'm not sure about the um, raspberry vinaigrette dressing, though. So I see Lisa's in the house. Lisa, what's up? Lisa has, man, Lisa lost 40 plus pounds so far. Uh, so I I, I, I got to say it every time I see you, Lisa. I, I love it. So Melanie says, thanks, Coach, helpful information. Glad y'all enjoyed it. So Sheila, hey, Sheila. Uh, let's see. So she said, gotcha. Uh, but this is what I, what I do. I drink the coffee in the morning. Uh, then I make myself eat eggs. Oh, make yourself eat eggs. I said, then maybe uh, one piece of bacon. Um, at 11, do a protein or fat shake at two to three uh, and a dinner around six or seven. OK, so you're getting enough. You're getting enough in. So, yes, I know some people got the head at coffee like they can't operate without it. <laughs> I know how that goes. So Facebook. So Facebook user, you got to definitely go up and let um, let let stream y'all recognize you. So I could definitely so I can recognize you as well as you um, come into the live. So you say you was talking about Sir Kensington Mayo. Yes. OK, got you. Sir Kensington Mayo is is great. Sir Kensington does have um, salad dressing as well. So. All right. Y'all y'all on the Facebook and the YouTube side. I appreciate y'all coming. Uh, definitely check out the bio. If you go down to the description, it says bio link and you can click that and you can get to all of all of all of the things I talk about. So you can get to all of the things I talk about from there. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> everywhere follow me on all the platforms y'all and i'll be at y'all again next sunday for keto class i love i love the fact that we had some questions come through this week so i love that so i appreciate y'all for for the questions and y'all know that's what drives me so let's get ready for the after party the after party is going to be on tiktok and um and clubhouse so we're going to have the the after party on tiktok and clubhouse is the first time i'm doing them simultaneously i figured if i'm here i might as well just go ahead and log into the to the clubhouse and see See what we get. So um, definitely. So uh, Lisa said, thanks, coach. I'm about three and a half, three pounds before 50. Wow. So Lisa done lost more weight. Lisa, you're killing it. You are killing it. So keep up the good work. I love it. 
So, um, so Patricia says thanks. So uh, Artelia says headed there now. So Artelia is headed over to the other platform. So y'all make sure uh, on the Facebook and the YouTube side. I see we got a few four, a few likes there on Facebook, y'all. Make sure y'all show some love. Make sure you just hit the like button, y'all. If you felt like you got some value, hit the like button. Um, share it if you feel like you get. If you got a, a group of people that you that you got accountability, share it with your accountability groups. So definitely, y'all, make sure y'all hit those like buttons because if you don't, hey, then it seems like it's not valuable, and therefore the um, the World Wide Web will deem it not to be valuable. So you got to let the World Wide Web know that this is something that's valuable and that other people should see it as well. So make sure y'all click those like buttons. Make sure you comment, even if some of the comments are in some awesome, awesome class. And thank you. Those comments are helpful as well. So I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all. Uh, on at the after party on the TikTok side and on the clubhouse side. I'll see y'all in a minute and we're going to go to this Q&A over here on TikTok and clubhouse. See y'all soon. All right. See y'all.